everybody welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be making the kimono i have on my thumbnail i really like that kimono i like the way it's flowy it's like you know it's big <laughs> yeah and i'm going to be using this fabric to make it yeah so i'm going to be using this paper illustration to explain to you guys so what you're going to do when you get your fabric you're going to fold it into two width wise not lengthwise so that you can get how wide you want it so um, the measures i'm going to be using is of course the widest part of your measure which is your hip so you're going to divide your hip by four and then depending on how wide you want it i'm going to do mine by four and i'm going to add 10 inches because i want it to be kind of you know the way it looks on um what's it called the thumbnail i'm going to add 10 inches to mine because i want it that way so when you fold your fabric into two this way you're going to fold it again into four and we're going to be using the back neck measurement to cut it out first so what you're going to do is standard measurement is your neck measurement three by three for the front and three by one for the back you know but of course you can do four by three it doesn't matter but we're going to be doing i'm going to be using three in width and then of course one inch downwards and of course you're going to connect it this way right to get the neck opening and then i'm going to measure down here which is nine inches for my armhole opening. I want it between nine inches. It could be eight inches, but nine. And then I'm going to come down. I'm going to measure my waist, which is here. Let's say, um, because my waist is 17. And of course, another um, nine, because I'm tall, nine inches, I'm going to get my hip. Because remember I said I'm going to be using my hip measurement. So I'm going to use, I'm not going to have, I don't want it to be curvy. Now, so I'm going to have my hip measurement divided by four, which is 11. And then I'm divided by four, which is 11. And then I'm going to add 10 inches to it here all the way down to your hip. And of course, the length, right? So you're going to come in here like this. Remember, this is your opening, right? You're going to come in like this, get your 10 inches all the way down. And this is your neck width. Remember, we're cutting the front first. And of course, your length is not going to be long. We're going to have to add fabric. We're going to cut fabric to add to it. And I'm going to be showing you that right now. So I went ahead to cut it out. And this is how it looks on paper. I cut out the neck and then, of course, the sleeve. And then remember I said... You might not get the length of sleeve. You're going to have to measure the distance you have from here, from the shoulder to this length. And then, of course, cut another piece that you're going to join to it to give you the long length on both sides. So this is how it is. I'm going to slash open this part, right? But before I slash open this part, I want it to come down a bit, another two inches. So I'm going to fold it again. I want it to come down this way a bit and then of course open it so this is what i'm going to do i'm going to do it this way this is the back and this is the front i hope you can see what i'm doing and then i'm going to go in by another two inches and i'm just going to blend it So this is how it looks like. And I'm going to slash it open here. Guys, this kaftan is so fast to make. You don't have to spend a lot of time. So this is how it looks. This is how the kimono, I said kaftan, the kimono is going to look like when you're done. And it's going to take you less than 30 minutes to cut. Because you're not showing the shoulders and all that. So you're going to just go in here by half an inch on both sides you're going to attach this part to this sleeve and this part to this sleeve and of course you're going to measure round all the way to the bottom and you're going to create a four inches strip of fabric the length you've measured all round and you're going to sew it so let's say this is your inches you're just going to fold it into two that's when you cut it Let's cut it um, five inches, yeah? So by the time you open it up, it's four. Or if you want it three, you cut it four inches, right? And then you sew it and you still have three and a half inches. Or 
three and a half inches on fold will give you six will give you seven inches yeah so when you fold it into two it would give you three and a half and then when you attach it you will have your three inches i hope you understand what i mean so you're going to go in and you're going to sew it all the way around and voila you're going to be done it's as easy as A B C D. so i'm going to do the same thing on my fabric and i'm going to show you how it looks on my mannequin <laughs> It came out beautiful. I put pockets in mine because I just wanted the pocket feel. But this is how it looks. I hope you guys enjoyed these tutorials. Do well to like, share, and subscribe. And ask me any um, questions in the comment section. Like I always say, what God cannot do does not exist. And I literally just used up the six yards. I'm not going to lie to you. See you guys in my next video. Bye.